can't really see anything here. You can see the moon through the video, but you can't see the stars. But when you go out like this, like I am, wearing my yukata, sitting alone on a golf field, a bit away from the hotel, and quite a bit away from other people, and you just lay down for a bit, breathe and look at the beauty of things, how the world revolves, how the moon shines at you, the sounds of nature, also some bit of silence as well, how many stars there are, fills you with some kind of peace, makes so many things seem so insignificant. It is when you step out of your own body for a bit that things become so insignificant. Everything becomes insignificant. Pretty much everything. Good things, bad things, you can finally breathe. When you step out of your own body, you've got a glimmer of a light that fades very quickly. in the eternity of the universe. You know, whatever the future may hold for the universe, the universe will always exist. Whether it exists as a uh, stretch or a crunch, life will always exist. And mankind, I guess, thing is, mankind as a whole, we have a choice. We can be an eternal light in the universe, but then uh, what we do now really matters. Like, if everyone in the top, if the elite would just stop with their BS and focus on people's growth instead, instead of their own fun, Imagine, imagine how much we could improve. Imagine how much we could make science move forward. Imagine how we could help geniuses grow up and really make use of their potential. You know? We have so much potential as a species yet we're wasting it on abusing each other. It's tragic. We could literally be conquering the universe. We could have actually been traveling through space now. We could have been becoming inhabitants of other planets. We literally could have. Do you know how many years have been wasted? Drowning people's innate potential. Driving many of the geniuses to simply give up on life rather than build something. You know, There are a lot more visionaries like Elon Musk than you may think. But they either never get a chance or never take a chance. The world should be rewarding, you know, and 
funding, if there's anything that taxes should be for, it is benef the benefit of our society. It's the benefit of mankind. Right now, taxes are going to the detriment of mankind. We're literally paying to get more stupid. <laughs> We're literally paying our money. That is no one else's. That we own. To get dumber. To get abused. To get under surveillance. To have our freedoms taken away. This is what people pay taxes for. In most places in the world. It's a little bit insane, don't you think? I don't advise anyone to commit a crime. I do advise people to do what is morally right, though. And do what is morally and right in your heart. But society would have to collapse. Society would have to change. So that geniuses would have a place where they could actually grow. If we ever want to have a chance in the universe. Because the way mankind is looking right now, it's, it's, it's grim. We will... We will end soon. If this continues. Just imagining how much good we could do if we just worked together. If we were all just a little bit nicer to each other. If we weren't accepting evil. If we would only pay for the things that would benefit, you know, us all as a species. right now it's it's so you know we already know what works most people know it's very painfully obvious what it is in this world that works what kind of politics work in order to benefit mankind you know like hey let women be women let men be men encourage the strengths of both and encourage men and women to cooperate Ta-da, you have now unleashed and unlocked so much of mankind's potential. And aside from that, we have all sorts of different types of people, have all sorts of different types of skills. So as individuals and as a group, we could give the geniuses a chance, you know. A better society would be a society where everyone pays 5% tax. Everyone. And there are no loops. There are no, you can take a loan and pay no tax. There are no BS with the banks. There are no loans. People, you know, will loan or give and fund the things they want to fund. We got to work together. But with our own, like money, with our own capacity and capability and then you'd clearly see that the people who need funding you know there are so many ways to fund people but people just don't have the money now people can barely afford to live due to the over taxation and then it gets even more expensive because the taxation is used to make things even more expensive you know it's insane our taxes are being paid so that everything in the world becomes more expensive to us right now. That is literally what is happening. You are paying taxes. This is literally what you're doing. You are paying your tax to increase the cost of all sorts of goods, of all foods, of all materials. Literally, that is what's happening in most places in the world. And it's, you know, it's, I, I don't, listen, I don't understand the goal of the people at the top. Is it, you know, they, they have many better ways to, you know, end mankind if that's what they want to do. 
I don't know what kind, like, it's evil. It's pure evil, and they know it. They know they're evil. But they don't care. I mean, why would a psychopath care if they're evil or not, right? They don't really feel any guilt. They just do whatever they think is interesting. But at the same time, like, the amount of potential we have as a species is just wasted. Why are we all trying to behave like trash bins when we could be something so much greater? You could literally become the greatest version of yourself as a man, as a woman. You could literally become a wonderful, beautiful, like for the women, you could become a wonderful, beautiful woman. You could become a source of energy, light and strength for the people around you. You could be a source of potential. You could be a source of energy. You could be a source of love, of warmth, of uh, an emotional security for people. You could be a symbol of all these great things. Men, you could improve your bodies. You could become the strongest that you can. You can be protectors. You can be physically fit. You can be mentally fit. You can, you know, do morally right and like yourselves more. Create meaningful lives together with these great women. Like this is, we could all become better. Yet people are wasting away watching Netflix, wasting away at their jobs that they hate, like slaves, for benefiting a society that will never ever benefit them. Never. Practically never. You are not getting the things you're being promised. 90% of the money that you pay is getting wasted. That is not a good deal. You were promised to have at least 90% used well. You were promised, you were actually promised 100% to be used well, because that's the point of it. To be used for the benefit of society, for the benefit of the world, for the benefit of every living being, or every living human in the world. But it's not. It should be benefiting good and focusing on the goodness of mankind and helping the goodness. Like I said, if we have that kind of society, literally, with just 5% tax for everyone, you could make everything, every basic feature in societies work. And on top of it, everyone could invest in the geniuses, in the ones who have potential that we see. We see like, oh, this guy is working, this guy has created this, this guy has crafted, I want to back him up with my money. And now, all of a sudden, I have money, I can afford things. We'd have, we'd use more, you know, farmland, we'd use more natural farmland, we'd use, we'd work together, we'd have enough food. Food would become cheaper, or rather, maybe they'd stay the same, but we would have more money, so we could buy more. So, but yeah, it's literally, you know, like, we would have to create more, because otherwise, <sighs> supply and demand. But you, you we have more than enough to create all the food that we need to supply everyone in the world with at least you know the daily recommendations so which isn't optimal maybe but good enough the point is just why are we gonna waste away as a species when we have so much potential Dude, like, I want to help people grow. I want to... My vision is to just help as many people as I can. But I don't... I, I hate even being close to these immoral demons. For me, it's... I hate when people are just lying. I hate when people are pushing others down. I hate what the elites are doing. But I alone can't amount to super much. I can just improve myself. I can make the people around me smile. I can be moral in most of my interactions with people. I can help people get stronger. And I have. I feel like I have been a net positive on this world. But it's not enough for me, for just me to do it. Or just the people who are doing it now. You also need to take some steps. You also need to do. You also have to work together with me, work together with us, 
so that we can make the world a better place. Because we can only stop this development if we work together. And it's easy to stop if we work together. It's easy to make such a society happen if we work together. Yes, it's gonna be hard the first week, the first month. But we'd find ways. We would find ways. Within a year, within a couple years, we would be surpassing ourselves so, so, like, by so by a long shot, we would be re literally reaching the stars. If, if, you, if you only realize how, much you can, how far you can get if you work together and if you have a vision. Mankind is wonderful and terrible. Now you can decide how, how, how you want mankind to be, what you want mankind to be with your actions. Because you will have an effect. All your actions have an effect. Will you watch Netflix tonight? Will you spend things? Will you watch inappropriate things? Will you benefit? Will you benefit the things that are bad in this world, the things that are wrong in this world? Or will you be a force for good? Will you improve yourself? Will you do a couple of push-ups tonight? Will you do something that makes you love yourself? That Will you stand up for what you believe in, grow your own heart, your own ideals, and be the wonderful being that you can be? Don't be what I tell you to be, don't be what someone else tells you to be. Be you. Be you, but be the best that you can be. It doesn't matter if you're strange, it doesn't matter if you're artistic, you can be wonderful. Everyone has a chance and opportunity to be wonderful in one way or another. And yes, we can't all get along, but we can try to make the world a better place and we can all do something to make that happen. The optimists invented the airplane, the pessimists invented the parachutes. We have two different, very different types of people. But through cooperation you can get so far. So instead of hating each other for your differences, Democrat, Republican, Black, White, Asian man, woman, gay straight find the strengths and use the strengths instead of focusing on all the weaknesses focus on what you can do to grow and what you can do and help in doing because we can all help each other make the world a better place but we need to work together can't do this alone Together we are strong, united we are strong. Let's make the world a better place together. Let's create groups, you know, social media groups. Let's create a group and then let's unite. Let's get so ma as many people as possible to act at the same time, to make a change in the world for the better for the genuine better. Because it's so clear what is better and what is worse. We don't have to make things perfect for any group, but we can all work together to make the world better, to make it decent. It doesn't need to be good, it doesn't need to be great, but to make it decent. And that we can all agree on. That's something we can all agree on. Anyone who is a decent human being will want that. And the, if we work together, I know how many people are conformists and it's, you can't help it. We're built that way. But that's why we have power in numbers. If we get millions of people to work together and millions of people to act the same time, we can change the world. But we need to work together. We need to work together. And if you get enough people to work together, whether one guy dies or not, you know? If you get enough people to act at the same time, they can't do anything against all. They can't stop millions working together at once. And you would change everything if millions worked together at once. Everything would change. In that moment, everything would change. 
you wouldn't be alone and you'd know you'd be the heroes of history. You'd be the champions of history. You would be the ones that turned the tides, fought against the demons, fought against the titans. You would be the ones to really make history. You would be the ones who genuinely make mankind great. We could make something lasting, something beautiful, something wonderful. But the only chance we can do that is together. It doesn't work to do it alone. It doesn't work to just work on yourself. It doesn't work to just ignore things. We have to work together because that's the only time when things ever change. Together. Unite.